Right now on Eyewitness News, call it a presidential wish for one man's bucket list. Yes, a Democratic city councilor in West Haven is crossing the aisle to fulfill her dying brother's wish of getting President Trump to reach out to him. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has our story tonight. I had no idea what she was doing. But Bridget Hosky was hoping to put a smile on her baby brother Jay's face at a time when he could sure use one. Jay was dying from cystic fibrosis is an oxygen 24 seven. But while in the hospital, he texted her a bucket list and a wish to meet President Trump. He was like, well, you know, we could go to Washington DC and could you imagine if the president was out on the lawn? And I was like, I guess. Hosky, a West Haven city councilor, is a Democrat through and through. But knowing he's a big fan of the president, she secretly emailed the White House and then asked friends to do the same. It's like a big deal. I, I got emotional about it. Jay says Lynn Patton, who grew up in New Haven and is in the Trump administration, reached out to him on Instagram and then called him last night. I call her back. She goes, I got somebody that wants to talk to you on the other line. So he gets on the phone. He's like, hey, Jay, it's, uh, it's Eric. That would be the president's son. Eric. He sits there and he says, you know, I've talked to my sister and brothers about you, you know, Don, Ivanka, all of them, and we're hoping and praying for you. And uh, just keep fighting, you know, and don't ever give up. Jay says Patton is supposed to come to the house this weekend, possibly bringing something signed by the president. It'd be a big deal, especially knowing that, you know, he doesn't do a lot of this stuff anymore. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of stuff on his schedule. Another item on his bucket list to see his beloved Mets on opening day. But for now, his sister says their goal is to get him to D.C., even if the two couldn't be more different. He's Coke. I'm Pepsi. He's the Celtics. I'm the Bulls, Giants, Cowboys, um, <laughs> Republican, <laughs> Democrat. <laughs> but it's the bond between brother and sister that in this case, trumps them all. Regardless of what happens, we are forever thankful and blessed, and we are living our best life. With the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.